Hello, today I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to set up your ta state tax zones in OpenCart 2.0. Um, you're going to navigate to this uh, gear icon right here, and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set up our geo zone. So go down, click on geo zones, and that will take you to the page that I was already on. So uh, add new geo zone name, we're going to call Texas US. Uh, description Texas State. It's going to be a description of the geo zone. And then we're going to add um, the United States. This is what this is going to do. It's going to associate an actual physical zone with the one that we named. So I'm going to go in and do Texas, United States, Texas, save. And now that we have this geozone set up, we're going to associate a, we're going to set up a tax rate and associate that with uh, Texas. So you'll, you'll go to settings, we'll go down to taxes, tax rate, add new, tax name, Texas state tax, tax rate 8%. Make sure this is set to percentage, customer group default, and geozone. We're going to associate it with this geozone we just set up, Texas-US. Save. And see, now you can see we have it set up right here. Um, so now we're going to have to go down to our tax classes. Um, and we'll associate uh, or set, up, set it up with activated in our, inside our tax class. So the default tax classes for OpenCart are downloadable products and taxable goods. So taxable goods are going to be what we're worried about here. So I'm going to go in and click edit. And as you can see, we only have one state, Pennsylvania, set up. So we're going to associate, we're going to add this rule. We're going to click add rule. And we're going to, oh crap, I did it twice. Um, we're going to add a rule for Texas state tax. Uh, we're going to base it on the shipping address. So wherever this is shipping, it's going to calculate, it's going to look and see if it's in Texas. Um, and then it's going to apply that tax. Set the priority as whatever you want your priority set as. Uh, save. And then we're going to go in. Let's look at the front end of this. It should be all set up now. So we'll go into the front end. And this is. Go in and search for a product here. I'm just going to click the first product I see. Add this to my cart. We're going to go in and estimate shipping and taxes, region, state. Uh, first, let's do one that we don't have set up, Florida. Uh, we have no taxes set up for Florida, so it's basically tax-free in Florida, so we'll click Get Quotes. Apply shipping. As you see, there's no taxes down here, so let's go in and set and look for Texas. So we'll get a quote from Texas. Get Quote. Apply shipping. And there you go, Texas state tax 224. And then when you go through your checkout process here, this is just an estimate, but it will apply it to the actual order. Um, so I hope that helps.